Hi, Alan here, and uh, I'm a traveler, and this is my truck behind me. It's a 2015 Ford F-250, and uh, I got a bicycle this summer, and I needed to find a way to transport the bicycle. I pull a fifth wheel. I did not want to put the bicycle on the back of the fifth wheel, and of course, with the fifth wheel, I can't use a rear bumper hitch of any kind. So I decided to get myself a hitch that could mount to the front uh, of the truck. And you can see underneath the uh, grinder license plate, there's a, um, uh, there's a hitch. There's a hitch called a Kurt hitch. And I'm gonna walk you through the process that I went through to install it. I'm gonna tell you about the hitch. And um, I'm gonna tell you that there are more details on the post that accompanies this video. And you'll find a uh, notch that you can click on a uh, little should, should be a little tab in the upper right hand corner of the video that'll bring you over to that post and it'll also give you links to where you can learn more about the hitch and the bike and everything else. So um, let me get going with this and uh, I'll walk you through my installation and how it looks with my, my bike on it. My bike is a recumbent bike. It's a cruise recumbent. I love the bike. And uh, the hitch is called a Rocky Mounts Hitch. They're based out of Boulder, Colorado. They're great people, and it's a well-made hitch. And I'm about the least technical guy in the world when it comes to building something or constructing something and assembling something. And I went ahead and I was able to assemble this hitch and attach it to the uh, Kurt hitch that um, uh, is on the truck now. All right, so with any further delay, I'm going to uh, proceed with how the installation was done and how everything looks. So as I mentioned, um, I needed a way to be able to transport my uh, bicycle. And I came up with this uh, rather elegant solution, having seen it employed elsewhere with other travelers. Uh, you can see underneath the uh, license plate again is a uh, hitch called a Kurt hitch adapter. Um, they make a number of them for different trucks. And again, on my main post, uh, you can access the notch there in the upper right of the corner of the uh, video. You'll see a link to an Amazon page for the one that I had, and then you can select for your kind of uh, vehicle if you want to go in this direction. If we zero in on it or zoom in on it, you can see more closely what uh, has been done. The hitch could be mounted uh, right side up or uh, upside down, and uh, what that affects is the height above the ground. You can see that I chose a higher position that required cutting a hole through the uh, front skirt of my uh, truck. Pulling back a little bit, you can see a little bit, uh, basically the same view. Now this is the uh, Rocky Mounts hitch. It comes out of the uh, box as you see it. Uh, there's a uh, large piece that the tray will fit on that's right here. Uh, that's the bicycle trays, and it can handle two trays. Uh, this is a folding hitch so that this can pivot up and down. You'll see that in a moment. Uh, this piece right here is for um, locking a wedge into the hitch so that the hitch does not wobble, which is a big deal with some hitches. This is the wedge that goes on the end of the hitch, and that's where it fits. So you can see the end of the hitch and you can see the wedge there and that's going to go into the Kurt hitch uh, on the front of my truck. This is simply the uh, uh, cotter pin and lock for locking the hitch in place and that way it can't uh, grow legs and walk. And this is the hitch now mounted, uh, the hitch rack mounted into the Kurt hitch. Um, you can see this is its deployed position, in other words, it's down position, and uh, the bicycle trays are not on yet. And again, there's the knob down here which twists to tighten, which uh, prevents this part from wobbling. So I notice as I'm driving, it's an extremely stable ride. That's another reason I put the hitch on the front. Uh, putting them on the back of your fifth wheel is not necessarily recommended because of the amount of sway in the fifth wheel, and a lot of these hitch manufacturers do not recommend attaching a hitch to the back of a fifth wheel or a trailer. So that's a close-up of the installation. That's the notch that goes in there, uh, and you've got the pin through it. Uh, that's a little bit in the back, and um, we'll go on. 
you can see a picture a real close up uh, from underneath now this is the uh, tray for the bicycle uh, this is for, meant for locking down the rear wheel you have a number of different pin positions that you can put this tray so you can adjust it uh, quite a bit it's got a lot of adjustment capacity to it this is the tray now mounted onto the rack itself again a rocky mounts hitch rack this is a really really elegant product i've been using it for several months now driven it through a number of conditions and it still works as well the day I, as, as the day i bought it right here is a little push button that allows you to pivot the rack up and down and here's the rack in its up position and again on my post i'll have a link to where you can get this thing at the uh, best price um, this is now with the arm mounted on it this is the locking arm you'll see how that works in a moment and this is the arm pivoted out all the way so it's ready to accept the bicycle and here's the bicycle uh, you can see the uh, locking arm is right here it locks down on the front wheel uh, you have back here the uh, strap that that uh, holds in the rear wheel uh, it's extremely easy to put on and take off and this is another view of the whole setup so you've got the the uh, arm that wraps around and locks the front wheel uh, to the rack itself You've got the um, uh, arm that was, when you put the arm in, you have to make sure that this piece is pointing in the correct direction so that the tire rests into the notch. And you've got your tie down in the back. And the bike, by the way, is a lot of fun. I have videos about the bike um, that you can take a look at and uh, learn more about what it is I'm riding and why I like it so much. So that's the Rocky Mounts Hitch. There is room for a second tray here. I opted not to use it. I'm a solo traveler, so I don't need it. Uh, also, when I close this rack up, it comes too close to the front fender, um, to the front grill work. So a way to fix that would be here on the hitch itself. You can get an extender, a two or three inch extender for 20 or 30 bucks, and that would push this thing that much further out i elected not to push it further out didn't need it but if i needed a second bike i could do that and it would easily work for me well thanks for your time and again there should be uh, some kind of notch up here in the video that you can click on where you can actually get to the post and see any of the links that i have related to this hey have a great day